Hello, welcome to the queue. These are the caddy sheets that I mentioned uh, earlier in uh, Operation Champ. Uh, this is a continuation of an idea that General Hand Grenade came out. He made a, um, so to speak, caddy, uh, and he's got it on a board, and you know he's got a spot for the the income you know, lend lease and whatnot, and then, you know, all these different squares where he's got numbered for his factories, and then I think he's got his technology, you know, across the top that is achieved, and, and, and I think he has the technology rolls on the bottom, but I'm not really sure now that I'm talking here, but either way, this is kind of a continuation of that thought, and I, I really like the idea, uh, especially after playing the, the Operation Skyhook as Germany uh, with quite a few different factories each turn. Um, the, there was, I wouldn't say a challenge, but hey, trying to remember and film at the same time where all these units are going, um, this is kind of an easy system. So, you know, for Russia, if you, if you only had two units, like you, you'd place you know, a, a tactical bomber in Leningrad, and you want to place a, a strategic bomber in Moscow, you know, and, and you would have your money there and whatnot. And if you were going to do your technology roles, say they were going for jet fighters, you know, at an eight, um, say maybe the CCP had a influence role. They were trying to influence uh, somebody on turn one uh, where they only have one, uh, you know, <laughs> territory and, and then they've got a recruitment role of one and I kind of wanted to put influence recruitment roles but couldn't really fit them all on there that that may change going forward I don't know if recruitment is is better and you just assume you're going to have some influence uh, roles but um, either way that's that's kind of in my mind where I'm just going to keep dice because a lot of times I, I in, in Operation Skyhook, I, I forgot about those recruitment roles or, or influence roles, whatnot. Um, like I said, if we had any lend lease, like if we were going to lend lease the uh, CCP, uh, we could uh, do that. And then, you know, we have our CCP money and put their purchase, you know, in, in a in an empty box here. Um, as you can see, I've got all these labeled with the cities of the starting factories. So uh, obviously Russia can move factories and that changes the territory they're in, but uh, you'll just have to adjust from there. Um, or I say you or me, whoever, whoever's using these sheets. So uh, his sheet, General Hand Grenade's um, caddy is, is generic. So it's not nation specific, but I kind of wanted the the, territories names so you know we've created one for Russia uh, and then we, of course we did Germany this would have been helpful you know in Operation Skyhook uh, for me uh, I think we have an actually a second Germany format that's a little different with the roundel you know and of course there's the the US and Japan and Italy I put on one because honestly neither one has a super amount of factories um, you know, I guess Japan could possibly, uh, if they take Calcutta, you know, you could use some of these blank boxes, uh, for that, uh, Italy, you know, even if they build another one like in Rome or something, or, uh, snag one from Cairo, if British is so kind to, uh, build them one there. Um, and then of course the Commonwealth, and I, I'll use that in this game. And I thought I'd attach it to a board, but I thought maybe I'll wait until, I make sure that everything's where it needs to be. Um, so I'll just put it on a clipboard and then I can move it around and it, it's sturdy. Uh, these are printed on cardstock and it's a recycled cardstock. So it's got a little bit of specs there um, that if you printed it on white paper, you wouldn't see, but um, that's okay for me uh, anyway. Um, so the reason I'm doing this little video is I, I did have... Uh, some interest from some people to get this file and I, I, I assume to, to print and use for themselves. So um, my son came up with uh, the actual file itself. I gave him the ideas and, and the names and, and wherever everything, you know, wanted to go. And 
we work back and forth with some rough drafts and come up with uh, this file of uh, caddies. Now, I don't have one for France. Um, I'm looking over <laughs> at, at my other sheet that I got of this with all my stuff set up on it. Um, well, I'll go ahead and bring that over here. Um, so this is what I've got going for the next turn. So it's a sneak peek uh, of my purchases, my tech rolls. Uh, and like I said, France is just kind of off here to the side. Um, I don't know why I would need a sheet for France, but uh, maybe I could make one with France and Canada, if, you know, if you're using that ex expansion. So anyway, that that's kind of what it looks like for the next turn. Now, that could change before my turn comes because um, we're right now, we're on Italy. Uh, we are waiting for Italy to go, so I've got a whole turn before I go. Um, but back to the point, I'm going to put in the description link um, a Google Drive link. So you can click on that and download and print these off uh, at your leisure. And um, I did give my son a Visa gift card for his uh, participation uh, in, in producing these sheets. And, you know, it may or may not have a balance left on it. Um, I'm pretty sure it does have a balance, but, you know, it'd be funny if it didn't have anything or maybe it had like five bucks left or something. That, that would be kind of funny. Um, only briefly. But I don't want anything uh, for this. Uh, you know, you guys want it, take it, use it. Uh, give me some feedback, uh, maybe some things we can do different. Um, I probably won't upgrade this file until version four of Global War 36 comes out. But at that point, uh, I don't know if territories change where these factories are um, or if there's something new that we need to add or, or subtract. So um, that's probably when we'll do an update to this file, but then I'll, I'll update this file uh, as well. So all I ask is if you do want this, um, these caddy sheets that uh, General Hand Grenade came up with and and uh, we worked on to, uh, my son and I worked on to, to uh, specifically use these for uh, individual nations, um, then just donate something. Uh, pick a charity, uh, donate, you know, five cents, five bucks, donate a Stinger missile to the Ukraine, you know, either way. Uh, don't tell me, you know, just put in the comments, hey, I donated, you know, to this charity, you know, whether it's, you know, you know, whatever charity, you know, you, you like, uh, that's all I ask. Just donate something and uh, the file's free to use and uh, just make a donation, make a comment that you did uh, a donation and, and it'd be curious for, you know, me and maybe others to read, you know, what, what the charity was that you donated to, so that is it. I want to do just a quick video, but as I'm looking at the time, we're already at eight minutes, so it isn't too quick. So hopefully you guys like it and uh, keep watching for its use in Operation Champ. And uh, until the next time, keep rolling dice.